my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is an actor, producer, and director you know from Desperate Housewives, Telenovela, and now Searching for Mexico. Roberto is making his Ricardo Negro from scratch. So, if you want to step... Yeah, what do I do? With me as his wingman. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> good. I already, I already messed up. Okay. Put some cumin, just oh, a little bit, a like little a spoon. Bit. Yeah, that's good. What is this one called again? Anato six. You can put more, 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 more. The spices are lightly toasted, but when it comes to the chile, it's burning. <laughs> we crank up the heat. The more you burn the chile, the, the less, less hot. Hot. Now you can start smelling. Yeah. Oh, it's smoking. <laughs> wave, it, wave it towards you. <laughs> Please welcome Eva Longoria. to see you again. Good to see you. I have not seen you in person yeah. since before COVID. You, we, we did one Zoom interview yes. over COVID. But for someone who does so much, you know, you're an actress, a producer, you're a director, you're, you have a graduate degree in public policy, I believe. <laughs> uh, Chicano, Chicano studies. Oh, Chicano yeah. studies, okay. <laughs> um, uh, what was it like for you to be trapped inside for all that time? Because you seem oh, like yeah. someone who might go a little hamster wheel crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was well. I have a at that moment. It, I had a two year old son, so it was Ooh. it was great because I was like, oh, I get to be with my son. That's the first time I never worked in my life. Like I've been working since I was eight. Uh, you know, mowing lawns, working at Wendy, whatever it was, and uh, I worked at Wendy's. And, uh, Did you work and the window? Did you work the window? Of course I worked the window. <laughs> Welcome to Wendy's. How can I take your order? Um, <laughs> no, but I, uh, but I, I enjoyed it because my son was two, and I was like, this is a good age for him to have mom around. And then once yeah. COVID ended and I went back to work, he was like, where are you going? <laughs> he didn't understand. I was like, no, mom works. He's like, no, no. Now, uh, many people got very good at drinking during COVID. Yeah. I don't necessarily recommend yeah. it on a high level, but that, I certainly that did my me. part. That was me, yeah. And you know what? COVID turned me to cocktails, because I was a wine girl, mm -hmm. and then COVID made me a cocktail girl. OK. Yeah. And I understand you have a particular cocktail that you're very good yeah, at Yeah, I'm very making good at making. With it. And what, well, are we, what are we making with this? What is, you, you, this you, is were, <laughs> you were very, you were very productive. I was productive, let me you tell you. You were very productive. What, what did you I'm produce an, during COVID? I'm an COVID? overachiever. I started drinking tequila, and I was like, I'm going to make one. This is um, your tequila. It's my Casa tequila. Del Col. Casa del Sol. Oh, okay, it's Casa del Casa Sol. Casa del Sol, yes. So are we doing shots here, or what no, are we doing? No, oh my God, no. I became a mixologist during COVID. Well, I can just hand it to you. you oh, no, here. To We're gonna, uh, oh, this has ice already. Well, I'm going to make it so we don't take up so much time. We're going to do this. But I'm going to... Okay, because you're going to love this. Now, do you like tequila? I like tequila fine. I've gotten into a lot of fights. So we do lime, agave, and some reposado. OK. And uh, we'll just need to do a little bit more. Sure. Uh, there's and, two of us. Uh, there's two of us. Why yes. not? And yes. then we give it a good shake. Do you have a, do you have a Topo Chico by any chance? I'm sure I do. Is that what this is? Yeah! There you go, Topo Chico. Now what do I do with it? Do I put them in here? Just a, just a splash. A splash. Is that it? That's too much. Oh, that's too much. OK, yeah. sorry about that. All right. Mm -hmm. That's too much. I'm going to mm -hmm. do a dirty... How does one design their own tequila? I don't understand. Pour. This is an amazing tequila because we age it in cognac barrels, so it's a lot smoother. And there's a lot of amazing women behind this tequila. It's not a tequila for women, but women drink a lot of tequila, so... It's very slenderizing, is my understanding. Yes. Thank you. There you go. Cheers. Mm. Let me, um, we need tahin for the rim. Mm. Oh, this interview is going really well. Isn't it great? <laughs> Isn't that now, amazing? Thank you so much. You're I got a welcome. something for you right here. You're now, welcome. You got the new show on uh, on CNN. It's called Searching for Mexico. Sorry, <laughs> hence yes. the tequila. Exactly. Yeah. Did, uh, first of all, did you find it? And um, did, did, Sta <laughs> did Stanley Tucci help? Because he's been looking for Italy for years. I know. I know. I think so what, he finally found. What is it? What are you looking Italy. for? I am. Well. Like Stanley, he's Italian American, and he kind of went back to explore his roots. And mm -hmm. so he called me, and they were going to do a spinoff of the series, Searching mm -hmm. for. Yes. And I pitched Mexico, and I was like, Mexico is a jewel of a country, gastronomically. It mm -hmm. is. It is an amazing. Yes. 
What do you learn? What do you learn from a person's? What do you learn from Mexico's food? That it's more than tacos and tequila. Okay. I mean, I know we're drinking tequila, and it's very stereotypical. I but... know. On, 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 I'm afraid to say, Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Is but it? it's the number one cuisine eaten in the United States, and I think it's it's a, a country that's misunderstood and and gets a bad rap. And I I think this show is going to do great for the relations of of our country with our closest neighbor, our biggest trading partner. And it's beautiful, because when you talk about the food of a country, you're talking about the people of the country. Mm -hmm. And Mexico's full of beautiful people. And <laughs> you've described yourself, you've described yourself as 100% American and 100% Mexican. Yeah. At the same time. The same okay, time. that's two people. <laughs> but now I know your family's lived in Texas before there was the United States. Yeah. I mean, you were, you know, so you, you yeah. are both all American and all Mexican. What does that mean to you? Well, it means I, I really straddle the hyphen of what, you know, in between being both. When I'm in America, people go, oh, you're Mexican, you know? Yes. And then I'm in Mexico and they're like, oh, you're the American. So I am neither here nor there ever. And I think a lot of people navigate that identity, specifically in Texas. I'm a Texican, really. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Texas! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, um, it's, it was fun to do this show, to explore Mexico. My husband's Mexican from Mexico City, and so he went with me, and my son went with me on this, on this whole journey in, in the four months, and he, just, he was like, I've never been to this state. I've never eaten this thing. And so it was really eye-opening for, for him, and he, he's Mexican. So you're, as you said, your son traveled with you. Who's yeah. now how long? How old, four? He's uh, four and a half, yeah. Four and a half, okay. There's a clip here. What's going on in this clip that you sent? sent oh, to well, us? okay, my son's first language is Spanish because we live most of the time in Mexico City. And so he's surpassed my Spanish. I didn't grow up speaking Spanish. So he's like, he's four and he's surpassed my Spanish. So he was kind of like our translator while we were <laughs> in Mexico. I was like, honey, can you tell the man, you know, I can't say big numbers in Spanish, like 1,912, yes. but he, he, he knows how. Okay. So I'll tell him, you know, how much is that? Will you tell him? It's, you know, one nineteen hundred dollars. So you're having your son barter for you. Yeah. <laughs> what, so this Jim? is him. He watched Dora the Explorer, and he's mimicking Jim? Dora. Delicioso. Can you say delicioso? <laughs> say <laughs> delicioso. <laughs> The kid's he's got giving, a future in voiceover. He's giving me a Spanish lesson. Can you say delicioso? Delicioso. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Good Eva. to see you. Searching for Mexico premieres March 26th on CNN. Eva Longoria, everybody. We'll be right back with the performance.